Today we're talking about shipping fig trees. In front of me I have a small tree that's very similar to the ones I sell online. If you're interested in my active listings, I'll put a link in the description. Over the course of the last two years, I've shipped about 50 such trees to various states across the country and I've had good success doing so. In this video, I want to share with you the technique I use to package the trees for shipment. Now, obviously, there are many ways a tree can be packaged, and if you've got a method that works well for you, by all means, uh, keep doing that. So the first step is making sure the tree has enough water to make the journey. So water it, but not too much to the point where water is seeping out the bottom. If water comes out the bottom, it can get in contact with the cardboard box and damage it. The next step, and one I've already done, is putting two pieces of tape across the bottom to seal off the exposed soil that's moist from the cardboard box for the same reason as I just mentioned. Now, the next thing I do is to make sure the soil stays in place. Uh, if you'll notice, there's a gap between the soil line and the top of the pot. And with that, if I package a tree without uh, putting a, some padding in there, as the box moves around, gets turned upside down and so forth, the soil can come loose. And I've actually received figs from other people that have had soil all over the box. So the way I deal with that is by adding some paper towels. Uh, these are just you know, regular paper towels, uh, bounty select the size if you really want to get the same ones. Uh, but I'll fold them four ways and get a piece that looks like this. Now I'll put such pieces on the sides of the box and you can see the, the first one goes in there. I'll put the next piece on the other side and then add um, more pieces going in the opposite direction. So I'll take a second to do that and fast forward while I'm doing it. Now you can see the padding is in place. I have uh, basically two layers right now. If the gap was larger, I would continue building on with more layers of paper towel until I got to the top of the pot. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is take pieces of tape and tape over the padding, paper towel padding I just put in place, and that keeps it from, uh, from moving. So I've put now two pieces of tape on, on either side. With that, the soil is secure in place and I can uh, flip it upside down, turn it around, shake it around, and uh, it won't move. The next thing I need to do is add a, a piece of bamboo. Now this is uh, to make sure that the tree doesn't move up and down inside of the box. And the way I do that is by taping this uh, bamboo stick on the side of the pot and cutting it to the size of the box. And that way the bamboo spans the entire length of the box and therefore the, the tree can move up and down inside the box. So uh, I will take, I'll start out with one piece of tape just to secure the bamboo stick in place. And now you can get these, uh, I got this one at Home Depot. Basically they're sold as stakes, but uh, I use it for this purpose. Now I'm going to make, or I'm gonna add additional pieces of tape on the side here to further secure the stick so it doesn't move. The bamboo stick is now secured on the side of the box, or inside of the pot, and as you can see, if I try to move it around, it's, it's not going anywhere. Now let's talk about the box next. I use boxes from Uline, and I have one here in a collapsed state. Uh, this is a 4x4x18 four by four by box. I have another size that's 6 inches uh, longer, and depending on the size of the tree, I will use either one. The, these boxes come in packages of 25 and Uline is a great company. I'll add links to both of the box types that I use in the description. I definitely recommend them. Now assembled, uh, the boxes will look like this and I will stack the box next to the tree and see which size is more appropriate. Uh, this one is a hair larger than the 18 inch long one. So I will use 
uh, the 24 inch box today for, for packaging. Now it's important to know that I've selected the box size to match the pot here. So as I mentioned, this is a four by four uh, pot and this is a four by four box. So with that, when I, once I put the pot inside the box, uh, it won't be able to move in either of these directions and then the stake keeps it from moving in the vertical direction. So uh, with that, I'm going to fold these flaps down and actually I just want to call out one more thing. Um, when I'm preparing a box for shipment, I will label the top and bottom and on the bottom I will leave a note for the person receiving the box to say to slide out from there. Uh, when I load the tree inside the box you'll see that the leaves will be compressed like this and you won't be able to lift it um, through the top. It really needs to slide out the bottom so it doesn't damage the leaves. So now that the box is ready I'm going to slide the tree inside and normally I wouldn't be doing this at an angle like this but I want to show you how it looks like um, and I will take care that the leaves don't get damaged in the process and I will slide it all the way to the to the bottom as you see here. Now you may be able to see the uh, tree is securely in the box and now I have this piece of bamboo that's sticking out. I want to make sure that it gets cut to the top uh, here and gets secured in place. So to do that I've brought some uh, cutting pliers and I will cut here along the, uh, the top. Oops, there goes a piece of bamboo flying. And then I'll fold this flap here first that goes on top of the uh, stake to secure it in place. Uh, followed by the next one and then these two. Now the, as I did on the bottom, I will take two pieces of tape for the sides. And then one longer piece of tape across the top here. All right, now this tree is packaged. Uh, as you can see, I can flip it upside down, I can shake it around and it's not going to move anywhere or hurt the tree. Uh, it's ready for a shipping label. In terms of the weight, if you want to estimate how much uh, these trees weigh, uh, these are typically from about two pounds to two and a half pounds is, is uh, my average. Sometimes they're a little more uh, than that and sometimes a hair less. As far as the cost to ship, uh, it of course depends how far the box is going, where you're shipping from, etc. Uh, and the weight uh, as well. For, for me, shipping out of Arizona, uh, the average cost is probably around 17 ish dollars, 16, 17 dollars. Uh, some of the closer destinations are, um, are a little less, some of the further destinations are a little more. Uh, there is also a difference in the two box sizes. Uh, typically the 18 inch box is a little cheaper than the 24 inch box to ship. All right, I, um, <clears throat> I hope you've learned how I uh, package trees for shipment. Uh, if you receive a box from me, make sure you follow the instructions at the bottom and uh, slide the plant out from, from there uh, to make sure the leaves don't get damaged. Thank you for watching.